there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and boy, how is this for an early gem? Oh my gosh. Little Richard in 1954, that's a full year before he arrived on the scene with Tutti Frutti in November of 1955. Boy, a nightclub down south almost certainly was the setting for this original, authentic, vintage window card printed in the fall of 1954, as I always say, for the sole purpose of selling tickets and getting people to the engagement. And then you got this pink color? How crazy is that? Very, very unusual, but absolutely attention-grabbing, and that's what window cards are supposed to do. Wow. So at this early stage, Richard had never charted a thing, but he did have six singles out on a couple of major national labels, RCA Victor and Peacock Records out of Houston. But he had experienced only local success so far, nothing nationally. But the third time was the charm. This poster comes between labels two and three <laughs> for Richard, and uh, he would go on to specialty records the next year in 55, and international superstardom, I guess you could say. But uh, right now, he's between obscurity and stardom. Well, wow, look at this, huh? The Club Revelo, and as far as the whereabouts of that club, I just don't know. Now, Georgia's a good guess. Um, Atlanta would be a good guess, too, because Richard was from Macon, Georgia. His manager was based in Macon, and the poster was printed in Atlanta. But, with records out on two significant labels, as I mentioned, this really could have been anywhere in the South, including New Orleans or Houston or possibly even a little bit north into the Midwest, I don't know. But if you happen to know, if you're a music historian or can find out, please do post a comment. Okay, Saturday and Sunday only, November 6 and 7. In person, the fabulous Little Richard <laughs> and his upsetters. Boy, the upsetters are on lots of other posters that I video blog. They were a mainstay as a backup group. They were known as Richard's backup group, but uh, they did lots of things on their own and working with other people as well. And then take a look at that amazing, outstanding early publicity photo there of Richard Penniman, a.k.a. Little Richard. Then you've got those fascinating early song titles on there. Let's go through those quickly. We've got Always listed first, and that was his latest single from the spring of this year. And uh, the record label actually said on Peacock Records, the tempo toppers featuring Little Richard. But that was it until the fall of 55 and Tutti Frutti. There'd be no other single releases for Little Richard. Then the next two songs, Every Hour and Taxi Blues. Well, that was his very first single from 1951 on RCA Records, and Every Hour was actually a, you know, a hit in Georgia. It was a blues ballad, even though it was the B-side of that first single. So, you know, perhaps it's on the poster because it was a hit in Georgia, or perhaps for sentimental reasons. Now, the second act on the poster is actually not a second act at all. He's one of the upsetters, Danny Carmichael. That's why it says featuring Danny Carmichael, the midget tenor sax man. What? Well, <laughs> he was with Little Richard in 54 and 55. You gotta wonder if he really was a midget or just a short guy, you know, but either way, that was certainly just a gimmick to sell tickets, I suppose. And then the bottom of the poster, you've got Little Richard's first manager name checked on there. For engagement, contact Clint Brantley with his address and phone number in Macon. And then check this out. This is sort of unusual and kind of weird. The poster printing company actually botched their own credit <laughs> down there in the white border. I can tell you what it says though with scrutiny. Southern Poster Printing Company in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh my goodness, such an early piece by truly one of the founding fathers of rock and roll. I count about six of those from the 50s and Little Richard, <laughs> definitely one of them. Just a beautiful amazing piece. Wow. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for stopping by today, and we'll see you again for something soon. Bye-bye.